In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the ideal gas laws. So we're going to be looking at what these laws are, and we're going to be analyzing Avogadro's gas hypothesis. So the ideal gas law simply is PV is equal to nRT. And P, V, N, and T are already given to us. We already know from earlier videos that P is for pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, and T is temperature. The only new thing is what is R. R is called a constant, a number that can never fluctuate or change. R was calculated to be 0 0.0821 liters per atmosphere per moles over degrees Kelvin, which basically means that whenever you want to find any information about a real gas, you have to use the ideal gas constant to determine its variable. Now we have a way to relate the number of moles or quantity of a gas to pressure, temperature, volume, at any condition other than STP. The equation can then be rearranged to solve for any of the variables. So for example, if we, had, if we were looking for the number of moles, we would set it up just like this. We can take the PV is equal to NRT formula and we can rechange it so we can find now just the number of moles. If you know pressure, volume, and temperature and we use the ideal gas constant, we can then figure out how many moles of any gas are in a sample. The following questions will be checked in class. Please do these problems to the best of your ability and we will go over them. So using the PV is equal to NRT formula, how many moles, which is N, of air are there in a 2 liter bottle at 19 degrees Celsius and at 747 millimeters of mercury? In this problem, you will have to do two conversions. You will have to convert temperature to Kelvin, and you will have to convert millimeters of mercury into atmospheres. Remember, we have to do this because of that R value. The second problem states that we are looking for pressure, or P, exerted by 1.8 grams of H2 gas. You have to convert that into how many moles 1.8 grams is. And we have a balloon that is 4.3 liters at 27 degrees Celsius. The two conversions you have to do is grams to moles of H2 gas, and we have to convert 27 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. At what temperature will 5 grams of Cl gas exert a pressure of 151 kilopascals at a volume of 0 0.753 liters? Notice that you have grams, which you have to convert to moles, and you also have kilopascals, which we have to convert to atmospheres. And remember, your temperature will be in Kelvin. How many moles are contained in 2.44 liter sample of gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 202 kilopascals. Where do you think you need to make those conversions? Think back to the R value. So if we recall Avogadro's hypothesis, equal volume of any gas held at the same temperature and pressure will contain equal number of particles or moles. Conversely, gases with the same number of particles or the same number of moles the same temperature and pressure have the same volume. So if you have one liter of oxygen and you have one liter of carbon dioxide, they have the same amount of particles. If they're held at the same temperature and pressure. 